And I'm sitting with my hips up on a block. You can do that if you like. So as we take this seat, let's do a couple of big reaching breaths. So inhale your arms up overhead, stretch as tall as you can, gather your hands right in front of your heart on the exhale. Let's do that a few times. And then just let your hands come right here in front of your heart. Let your thumbs maybe rub around your sternum a little bit to just feel that nestle place. Close your eyes. Soften the exterior. And draw your attention inward. Just let yourself become curious about what's happening underneath your skin right now. We always start by feeling the parts of the body that are on the floor or cushion or chair. And the weight of gravity holding us here. Get a sense of the temperature of air on your skin. And the sounds you can hear in the room beyond my voice. Behind your closed eyelids, do you see any light or color or shape or movement? Where do you feel breath expanding and softening your body? Feel the pressure and the warmth of your two hands against each other. This is what it feels like to be alive today in your body. Take a deeper breath, a breath of gratitude. As we move our bodies today on our mats, I'd like to offer this image of an angel. Think of what comes to mind when you think of angels, maybe visitors or blessings. Maybe an angel represents someone you loved who has moved on. But I have a friend who has a son with Down syndrome. And when he was small, he used to say, I am an angel on earth and so are you. And all of us together make this big human family. I am an angel on earth and so are you and all of us together make this big human family. So let's take a few more of those breaths again, reaching up and just let your mind play with that idea that reminder that we are so much more than we believe we are. This young man never forgot his origins. He was always looking into a crystal clear mirror image of himself. We're always reminded of our preciousness and our potential. Let's let the hands come to the knees and start to move the spine forward and back. Sitting here in your preciousness and potential. So I invite you to just bring that image of yourself into this practice, the bigger version of who you are the glorious and beautiful version of who you are. Let's bring ourselves around to a tabletop position and continue that action of cat and cow. Just warming up the spine. 
This can be really small, soft movement, or it can be big. Your body can choose. Move in a way that feels peaceful and gentle to your body. In a way that feels like you are just sending a love letter to your body. Then let's widen up our knees. Let's shift our hips back a bit. If you'd like, you can bring a block underneath your hips so you're supported up a little bit higher or a block under your forehead. Use your props to support you in a way that makes this practice gentle and peaceful. And we'll take about five breaths and you can choose stay right here in child's pose or lift into downward facing dog. Either way, fold it at the hips and just letting your body breathe and stretch. We're coming to our mats today to find a sense of harmony between mind and body. We'd love for us to leave our mats today with a deeper respect and gratitude and even reverence for this amazing place we call home. So if you're in child's pose, come up to your toes and just take a slow walk forward to the top of your mat. Put a big bend in your knees, let your belly rest right on your thighs. Really give yourself that support and then touch your elbows in ragdoll. If you feel a tug or pull at your back, bend your knees more. If not, if you feel the stretch more in your hamstrings, straighten your legs more. And then deep in that breath. Let's press onto our shins. Find the strength in the back and you might even reach back here and feel those strong muscles that support the spine. Hold on to those as you rise up from the hips. Giving you that support. Awesome, everyone. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, dive again from the hips into that forward fold. Let's lift halfway. And then step back either to down dog or tabletop on your knees. And then we'll shift forward, drop the knees if they're up, lower yourself to your mat. And I want you to come into the smallest version of Cobra you can find. It might simply be lifting your head so you can feel the muscles in your back strong. Pause there to just feel that strength from your neck to your tailbone. And if you have a green light, slide your hands back and just lift another inch. See if you can find that place where Cobra turns into kind of a pinching in one spot and then back away from that so that it's global, it's the whole back. And we'll exhale, child's pose, tuck the toes and lift the hips, downward facing dog. Big breath in, long breath out. And let's walk our feet towards our hands lifting halfway and let yourself sigh as you exhale. Bending the knees will rise up, mountain pose and hands to heart. Let's just do one more of those, a gentle sun salutation, warming up all the joints, the muscles, lift halfway and step back. Shift forward, lower yourself down to the earth and then come up to your cobra. Whatever size that lift is, it's global. It's neck to tailbone. There's not one pinpoint of pressure. And on the exhale, it's child's pose, tucking the toes and lifting the hips. Downward facing dog. 
Everybody nod your head yes, shake your head no. And then walk feet to hands, knees are bent, forward fold. Lift halfway and then rise up, extended mountain. And bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna start off today with just a little balance work. So your hands can be wherever you feel like they help you. You can stay at heart center if you like. I'm just gonna take the feet a little bit wider and alternate a knee up in front. Just move nice and slow. See if you can feel which ankle feels a little more or less stable. You might try some different places for your arms up or out or down as you challenge your balance. When you've evened that out both sides, that should give you a little more heat through those hip flexors. Let's bring the hands to the crease of the hip. We are going to use our blocks here. So bring, bring those out if you haven't already. Let's soften the knees, hinge from the hips and come again into a forward fold. I'm going to place one block under each hand here. Mine are on the middle side. You can try tall first and then ease your way on down. So step back with your left foot till you're about mm, three feet apart front to back. And we're in pyramid pose. We're just gonna lengthen out through the crown of the head. So the back is pretty flat. This is a nice look at our hamstring to get us started. Bend and straighten that front knee. And then let's create a little flow here. So coming on to the back toes, drop the knee, super slow motion, come down into this deeper kneeling lunge. Let's see how that feels. Say hello to the hips. And then we'll tuck the toes and come right back to pyramid. So let yourself move in slow motion between these two different positions, really opposite positions. From pyramid and a little closer, there's that hamstring, and down to lunge. Let's go one more time, just kind of taking a little different look at movement through the hips today. Keeping your weight on the blocks, bring the knee back. You can set those blocks aside. Let's shift forward, lower down. We're just gonna go through three small little vinyasas. So roll up to easy cobra, press back to child's. Continuing to build heat, forward and down. Shoulders roll, lift. Feel free to take your time with these. You can go slower than me or faster than me. Good, and this last time, tuck your toes under, feel the stretch on the bottoms of your feet. And let's slowly lift up, downward facing dog. Feet are about hips distance apart, knees are bent. Bring your hands back to your feet. Again, ragdoll with pretty bent knees here. If there's any strain in your low back, bend your knees more, give yourself that support. And then lifting halfway, core is strong. Let's reach the arms up. And as we reach our height, interlace your fingers. You might notice one leg feels different than the other. We're halfway through this sequence. So let's take a little lateral flexion. Again, always looking for pinpoints of pain and avoiding those. Staying in that soft center. Wonderful, everybody. So here we are at the back of our mat, lateral flexion. 
Go ahead and bring your hands to your hip crease. Let's step our left foot forward and we'll create that pyramid stance on the left side. So hinging, grabbing those blocks. So staying with this nice long spine, just exploring, you can bend and straighten the knee, you can lower and lift. Just curious. Trying to establish harmony between mind and body. So let's tuck the back toes, drop the knee, come down into kneeling lunge. Good. Nice. And then in slow motion, back and forth, tucking the toes, using your blocks, come into pyramid and back down. Let yourself feel both lifting up and in and lowering down. One more time, lift and lower. Awesome, everybody. Tuck the toes, step forward, come into a forward fold. And you're welcome to keep your hands on a block for support, but again, bend the knees, shake out your neck. All right, with hands on the mat, stepping back again, downward facing dog. Let's shift forward into plank pose and you can be on your knees. Kneeling plank is still a really strong posture, or you can be on your toes. We're looking for torso stability here. So in plank, tuck your tailbone a little bit, pull your navel up into your spine, open up between the shoulder blades. You might notice a little shaking, I am. <laughs> a little heat building. Maybe come forward a bit and back. Really find that strong, strong, strong center. And then drop your knees to the ground. Come to a tabletop and start to work again through cat and cow. We're gonna move into a deeper hip stretch and it's still pretty early in our practice. So I want you to be nice and loose and warm for this next one. I'm gonna hit Gail's favorite pigeon pose early today instead of at the end. Hit it while we still have some energy. <laughs> All right, everybody, tuck your toes into downward facing dog. And then let's raise the right leg up high, wiggle the toes, circle the ankle, and slowly draw the right knee toward the right wrist. Now, depending on your knees or your back, this might be pigeon for you today, staying up high like this. And if that's the case, put something underneath your hip and just rest on that. You can just stay right here. If your body is giving you a green light and you want to come down to elbows or rest your head, some great choices. And if none of that works for you, come around and sit in a figure four. You'll get the same stretch without the pressure on the knee or the back. Okay. Finding a nice hip opening, outer hip, hip flexors, deep breaths. And then just shift over onto that right hip, bring the left leg around. This is where we're gonna loop the ankle with a band. 
So if you do have a band that you can create a, like a knot or a loop in the end, that's just gonna go right around your ankle. If not, you're just gonna fold your band around your ankle and bring both handles up towards you, okay? So once you get that strap around your ankle, we're back in pigeon. This strap is gonna come up over your right shoulder. Okay, so take a moment, to, that's a lot, so <laughs> take a moment to make all that happen. And again, you can just stay right here sitting on your block. If you're curious about getting a little deeper into that back, quadriceps start to tug gently on that band in and out and see if you can feel a perfect place to stay a fun little balance challenge could be lifting the arms up toward that band and maybe even walking backwards and someday you can grab a hold of your foot. <laughs> this is a really big pose, so kind of stay at the entry point if that seems like a good idea for you. When you're ready, you can just leave that band around your foot for a moment. Let's tuck our toes. Let's lift back. You can shake out that right leg. If you'd like, you can take a vinyasa in between sides or stay right where you are. Let's come down to our knees and we're going to remove the strap. Set that aside. Take a moment in child's pose to just feel left, feel right. Breathe deep. When you feel ready, let's start to find our way into the left side of pigeon. So you can go right from here, or you can lift the leg and swing it through. Left knee to left wrist. So really check in with your body. Is this the best place for you right up here? Something under your hip, a long, tall spine, a gentle stretch. Does it feel better to come down a little bit, to rest your head? In this pose, I invite you to just close your eyes and take another look inside this experience. Notice any resistance. Notice any enjoyment. Just notice what this moment is like for you. You're seeking harmony between mind and body. So they're both speaking the same language. In our yoga practice, we get these glimpses of who we really are underneath the layers of stress and heaviness and thinking. And we find this beautiful self here. Breathe into that for a moment. So let's come up and just sit over onto our left hip and we'll place a loop or a strap around our right ankle. And then we'll just come back into whatever version of pigeon feels safest and most comfortable using props. And if you're choosing to come with me into this version of swan pose, the strap now comes over the left shoulder and it just creates a nice little lever to just lift and lower through that back leg. 
finding a nice little stretch through the quadricep. You might find a place to just stay, just hang out right there. Or if you'd like to challenge your balance a bit, bring the arms up and toward that foot. And breathe, whatever you've chosen. Notice when you get over your edge to a place where you can't breathe and it's not pleasant. And come back inside that soft edge. It's never about performing, it's always about exploring. So we can go ahead and leave that strap. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Ooh, lift up to downward facing dog. Maybe shake out your leg. And then bring yourself to a forward fold. And this is a good time to release the strap. Knees are bent. Pressing on to the shins, slowly rise up. And bring your hands to your heart. And let's just check in and see how the legs are feeling now. We've done both sides, a couple of different sequences. Let's lift high and let's bow low. And we'll do that a few times, just kind of rinsing cleansing through the hips. Make your breathing a little more loud. Did you know that you have sensors in your throat, nervous system sensors that when they detect breath, singing, chanting, humming, they create a relaxation response in your brain. So make some noise. Let's reach those arms up again. Take a nice deep breath. Interlace the fingers coming back to lateral flexion. And then soft knees. Slowly lowering. Let's bring our feet back, downward facing dog, and arrive again in plank pose. Find that strong torso. You're welcome to bring your knees down. In fact, let's start here with everyone's knees down. We're gonna do a couple of kneeling side plank things. So the first one, we're gonna kick our right foot backwards and open up through the left arm. Kneeling side plank. And you can see how this feels to your wrist. If you'd like to be on a fist instead, that's a great idea. If you want a little extra today, I know Bill's here. He always likes a little extra. Take it all the way out. Stack your feet, come to full side plank. Your choice. While we're here, we're gonna circle the left arm around, cross the face. Make that circle as big as you can. And then plant that hand to the floor and then just simply switch sides. So left foot back, right arm up. Be on your knee or stack or stagger your feet. And let's circle the right arm around across the face, four big circles. Opening through that shoulder. And then back to center, opening again, left arm comes up on your knee or your toes. This time the arm reaches back. So let it come back behind you and then circle. So a backward circle, past the face and around behind you. Shoulder mobility. Mm. Or just everyone switch sides. Right arm comes back and around.
Let's return to the first side. So on your knee or your toes. Good. Um, if you're on your toes, drop the knee. <laughs> Sorry. And then go ahead and grab a hold of that ankle. Kick the foot into the hand, open up through the chest and the hip. Nice, slow, deep breaths. And then return. Come back to center and switch. Let's be on the knee for that one. Same stretch, leg comes up. You find that ankle. Good, bring yourself down. Come back to child's pose, hips back, arms long. And let's walk our hands over to the left side. Plant one hand on top of the other and pull your hips back away from your hands. Deep, slow breaths into the side of the rib cage, the serratus anterior. Bring yourself back across and switch. And come back to a tabletop. One more little thing here inside plank. I want us to find the core before we get a whole lot further because we're really going to kind of do some poses that are that require heat here. So inhale, lift the arm again. You can be on your knee or your toes. Exhale, reach through. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist through. Inhale, lift. Twist through. One more time, lift. And coming through, drop the knee. Thread the needle. So we're going to drop all the way down onto that shoulder. Reach the right arm overhead. Exhale as you stretch through the back of your left shoulder. And returning to tabletop, same thing on the second side. Right arm lifts, you can be on your knee or your toes. Exhale to twist through. Inhale to lift. Really exaggerate those breaths. And this time we come through into thread, the needle dropping the right shoulder, walking the left fingers up, breathe into the back of the shoulder. And folks, really exaggerate the breath, really send full breath back into that shoulder blade. And rising up again, tabletop. Right foot kicks back, left arm lifts. And this time we're gonna come up off that hand, move super slow, come into gate pose. Fingers lift way up, really climb this imaginary rope so the side of your body feels longer. Good, let's go back and forth. Fingertips very light on the floor, reach up and over. And back to gate. Mm. Nice slow breathing. Let's go one more time, both directions. 
And as we bring that hand back to the floor, let's twist under and open up. Open up a little bigger, twist under. Open up, lean back. Mm, and return to the ground, switch sides. Right arm comes up, flowing gait. Pause here to set up the pose, reach tall. And then begin sideways motion, just really light on those fingertips. Harmony between mind and body. Letting this practice help you reclaim who you really are. Underneath the layers of stress. Mm, up and over. Reach underneath. Open up. Way back. One more time. Reach underneath. And way back. Return to tabletop. All right, last time in side plank. Option one, hold on your knee. Option two, hold here or bind. Option three, stagger or stack. Option four, tree. And final option for the overachievers, Whoa, big toe. <laughs> Come back to center. Come on, it's just playtime. Over to kneeling side plank. Shake out the wrist. You've been on that for a bit. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift or bind. Option three, stagger or stack. Option four, tree. Option five, big toe. Let's find our way. Woo, to child's pose. Option to take a vinyasa if you like. Deep breath in, long breath out. Let's bring ourselves to tabletop, stepping one foot forward and then the other, meeting in forward fold. And then press to the hips, lift and lower. And as we come up, find the tiniest back bend. So just like Cobra, find that place where it feels global, not pinchy, and then hinge again. Reach up, all the way back. And lower. Two more times, friends. Lift up. And lower. And lift. This time, hands come right in front of the heart. All right, is your body plenty warm? Yas. All right, go ahead and sit like we would sit in a chair. I'm gonna take a figure four. So let's take our right knee up and out, crossing the ankle. If you need a little help with balance, grab the back of a chair or a wall. And we're just gonna come down here into the figure four balance. That pigeon got us ready for this. If you wobble and fall, Okay, come back. Full, slow breath. And then return that foot to the floor. Inhale, arms up into chair. And as they fly back, airplane the legs straighten a little bit. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back nice and slow. Inhale the arms all the way up, extend, 
Bring hands to heart. Standing figure four, second side. Left knee bends Come into your little chair and breathe. Feeling the experience of now. Maybe it's a little wobbly. Maybe it's a little frustrating. Feel the experience of now. Maybe sit a little lower, find that hip just a touch more open. And then let's replace that foot to the floor, chair pose. Inhale the arms up, exhale, fly back. Inhale, lift, fly back. Two more times. Coming into chair, open your arms nice and wide. And final option today, if you'd like, to come onto your toes. A little foot strengthener, a little balance challenge. Worst thing that can happen is your feet, your heels drop. No harm, no foul. This is when I'm grateful for having big feet and long toes. <laughs> Let's drop our heels, hands to heart, straighten the legs, and exhale loud as you fold forward. Settling our knees down to the floor. Let's sweep the legs around and find a seat. We have our legs out in front of us, clearing the flesh. So sit tall, roll your shoulders onto your back. This, my friends, is a wonderful place to stay. You're already getting some good hamstring release, core strengthening. If you'd like to use your strap, you can pull your torso forward. That creates a little more sensation. And if you have a healthy back and a green light, go ahead and pull forward until you feel your spine rounding. So choosing the best version of this pose for your body today. Find that audible breath moving across your throat. Especially the exhale that sounds like a sigh. Gently bring yourself back up. We're gonna lower down onto our back for bridge pose. So you're welcome to do bridge or wheel, or if you're looking for more gentle, put a block or a pillow underneath your hips and let the prop do the work. We're just gonna close our eyes here. That was a lot of activity, a lot of movement, a lot of exploration. So come back home and here. Eyes closed, body relaxed, breath steady. As you take deeper breaths, can you feel the reverse of energy of circulation with your hips above your heart? You have the option to stay just like this. It's a very gentle inversion. If you'd like, you can lift your legs up into waterfall. Getting that fluid that gathers in our lower extremities back up to the upper body. Wiggle your toes, move your feet. You 
Again, another deep breath with a soft sigh for an exhale. Jaw starts to relax more, face relaxes. Let's bend our knees and bring the feet back to the earth. Slowly removing any props. And let's finish with a twist, arms open, knees drop to the left. You can take any kind of twist that your body loves, crossed or stacked, supported. Exaggerate three deep breaths here. Breaths you can feel clear down into your back, your hips, your low belly. And slowly switch, the knees go right and the head turns left. Finish three breaths on that side, unfold and extend into Shavasana. Take time to wiggle and stretch and find your most relaxing place. Give yourself the gift of a couple of minutes in stillness doing absolutely nothing but coming home to yourself. See if you can feel your powerful, pulsing presence beneath the surface of all the thinking and all the doing. Breathe deeply, refreshed and renewed. As you take in this next full, slow breath, linger on the exhale, drawing it out as long as you possibly can. And then coming back to a more regular breath pattern, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Begin to stretch and yawn. When you feel ready, just roll easily to one side and back to a seat. Hmm. Let's all take one more deep breath together, arms stretching tall. Gather your hands toward the center of your heart. This powerful presence, the beauty of love, of compassion. This is how we heal the world, friends. As one by one, we are awakened to our pure goodness and light beneath the layers, all of us together in this big human family. Thank you so much for taking time for yourself to move and to breathe, to witness, to be still. I hope there are pieces of this that travel with you throughout your day, bowing to each other and to ourselves. Namaste.